Hello everyone, welcome to another video about Air Studio here on the Marvelous Mac. My name is Mikhaias and on this video I want to talk about some simple data structures uh, used in R. So we will uh, see about variables and vectors and then we will also see about some different types of data that uh, R yields. So uh, let's start talking about variables. To create a variable in R it's very simple, you just give a name and then you say it's equal to the value you want to give to it. So I'll say A is equal 10 and then I have here my, va my va uh, variable A equal 10. I could create another variable B equal name And then uh, here it is. Uh, to create uh, vectors, it's a little bit more complex, but it's still very simple. So I will call a v1 equal c, and then you use the letter c parentheses, and then you give the values you want, and you separate the values with comma. So here is the vector saved. Uh, here it says the, the length of the vector that is pi and the values. And I could create another vector with uh, letters. So a comma quotation marks c. Z and I run. It's nice that you can see all the everything that you have created here and the values it has. And uh, now uh, let's see the types of data that you have in the variable or in the vector. So you can see here, for example, it says none, and it says cur, or cur, uh, so it's abbreviation to character. So I could uh, ask, for example, the type of uh, data in a, in a variable or in a vector, so I can call the function type of R has this function, type of, and then I give to it what I want to know, the, the type of data. So I run, and it will say it's a double, and I could ask, I could do the same thing to any of the other, so type of V2. And it's a character. So um, basically, R will assume that the type of the vector or even of the variable that you are creating is the value that you are giving to it. So if you give a character, it will uh, be the type character. If you give a number, it will be the type of double, and so on. But uh, you you usually have integer that is just one, two, three, four, five, or minus one, minus two. The way you can create it is l. Let's call v three equal to integer. I use it, and then I with parentheses. I say the length of the vector and then uh, I will create with value 0 and then if I ask the type of v3 
then it will be an uh, integer. But uh, let's say I want to create a vector and I will give numbers and then a letter. I will save all the values are as characters. So always when you uh, have a a vector in R and one of the values is a character then all the vector will be a character and you can confirm it that now the, the type of v4 is a character so I could I can now uh, let's see now doubles so to create a, a variable or a vector with the type double, we can just do similar to the way we did with integer. So we call double, and then we give the length of the vector, and it will be actually pretty similar to v3, with the difference that it has the the type here v3 is an integer is for integer and then v5 is for uh, double that says just num but the values are the same here and uh, as we saw we can create uh, uh, variables or vectors with uh, characters so if I ask type of uh, my variable b it will be a character so you have uh, one other interesting type of uh, data and it's the logical type so let's call c equal true so uh, it's safe just the word true but it's not it's not safe as character you can see here and if I ask the type of C then it will say it's uh, logical And uh, well, let's try to make some operations with the variables. So let's see what happens if I try to add a plus b. Let's see one. So uh, it's saying that I am trying to use uh, uh, something that's not a number to make a binary operation or a mathematical operation. So it doesn't accept even though R is very flexible with uh, the types of variable you can create a variable and then change the type just by attributing a different value to it so let's say I could uh, say that my variable B that has the value name I can I could say that it's equal 5 so I will change here, it won't create another variable, it will change that variable that I had, it will give the value b, and then now if I run a plus b, then it works, it's, it's 15, and uh, so that means that we need to be careful when we are uh, dealing with the types of data in R, because for example here I have my v4 
and I created it with numbers and characters but when I ever saw a character here it saved all the numbers as characters and I can't make any operation a mathematical operation with them so we need to be uh, careful with this but other than that R is very flexible with the types and it, it won't give you that much travel if you just pay a little bit of attention so uh, that's it for this video there is uh, different data structures as matrix and data frame and others that I will talk about in other videos but for the video today that's all so I see you soon and if you like this video just uh, give your like and sub subscribe to, to the channel thank you very much for watching see you later